Well, here's a kit fox. Now, let me tell you, I had some antenna problems a few times in this plane, and I finally got it solved. I used to have a Cessna antenna. Here's a turtle neck off the back right here. This is just like a standard Cessna antenna, I believe. Anyway, what happened was, it used to come up a little bit higher there. And I'm not sure, it must be up to about here, I guess. I broke it off back in the hangar one day on a float, so you know what? I caught the beam. You see we got a little pocket up there. So what I did was I unwrapped the the copper braces down there and I twined in a piece of wire. It looks like about maybe 14 or 16 gauge wire right there. Doesn't do heavy duty. But anyway, I'm not a radio expert, but I will tell you, if you measure this here, let's see what that is. I'd say 24 inches long maybe. Well, look at that. That there looks like it's about 20, just over 24 inches long. So, well, let's call it two feet long. Two foot long antenna wire. Okay, on the turtle deck. That disc there, let's measure it. Why not? That disc is about a good 15 inches. Plus, we've got all this other extra aluminum all the way around here to act as a ground plane because when the wave comes off of here, it has to have a place to bounce off of. The way I understand, I'm not a radio technical guru, but you guys can tell me one thing, maybe a lot more than me. Anyway, I've got this antenna itself grounded to the turtle deck, which in turn is is on 100% ground. I used to have a wire running from there up, but I don't anymore. It's too much hassle to pull this thing off. Anyway, it does do on with about six or eight fasters on here, so it does have a pretty decent ground there. Regardless. That antenna, right there. I was coming back from Northern Ontario this year. I was 7,000 feet maybe. I was talking to another guy in a plane, I think it was a Piper. And he was at least 100 miles away. We were talking just like we are right now, clear as day. It was beautiful. And I can only add, the attribute is that redneck antenna. <laughs> it may look like crap, but you know what? It works goddamn well. I can be heard 50 to 100 miles away, no problem at all, at, you know, 7,000 feet. So 6,000 AGL. Anyway, that's my words from me to you on Radio Tech Talk. I'm not an expert on it, but I will tell you, that antenna there does work extremely well.